the more and more I look around me, it's so blatantly obvious that there's like possessions happening and different types all around us. I want to bring up the book of Solomon again, the 72 demons are each demon is ordained for a part of your body and your being and life. So let's say you have problems in your relationship, it's because of a certain demon. speaks about um during the times of solomon that the jinns uh were commanded to spin hemp and also to make brick for buildings which also connects to the book of solomon in the apocrypha book taken out of the bible um that uh one of the jinns out of the 72 demons of solomon was commanded to build buildings and the other demon was also commanded to spin hemp and this kind of makes me think that maybe these buildings around us were built by the demons during that time, maybe even preceding that time. It's inhumanly possible, like unfathomably inhuman to, to make such bricks, especially with the history we're given, technology we're, we're educated about in, in formal education, which is just mind zapping. And it really connects to this this fact that the, in the Quran it validates what the people in the mudflood community are saying and thinking about, and it says to walk around in the destroyed towns you live in from the past destroyed cities, and think about what you're seeing, and the people that are looking around and thinking about, well, hey, this whole mountain is a pile of bricks with staircases in the top, and you know some kind of mega structure everywhere over the whole world. It's for the people who could see, who could use their mind and reason. It's that not everyone is able to do that. There's like two types of people, the ones who can see and the ones who can't. And uh, people of the Islamic regime, the government, the archons at the top who control governments, religions, doctor, pharmaceutical industry, they want to withhold this information. I brought up the Hadith earlier. And the Hadith is a tool from the devil to actually hide the true fact and information that's, that's hidden in the Quran. And the whole religion of Islam, of Hadithism, Hadith is the stories, <clears throat> starts up. Yeah. Hadith is the stories of the Prophet, which are a book series comprised of accounts brought down by the prophet Muhammad. And basically, it's the biggest waste of time. The Hadith is a manufactured piece of work from hell, from the devil, from the archons, to make you blind and ignorant to the things you see around you. And it pushes the, let me think for you so you don't have to think for yourself mentality. A lot of the people that read this hadith, the book of the the book and tales of the prophet, the stories of the prophet, it makes you read the Quran completely differently. And it takes words in the Quran and mistranslates them and actually contradicts them blatantly. It's offensive. See when you say Salah, say Salah is Arabic and in, in Islam they do their ritual prayers every day. And they say it's the Salah. And you can't understand the Quran without the Hadith, which is wrong. They say the Salah is the five ritual prayers in the Hadith explained, but Salah actually literally means duty. It just means duty. Perform your duty. Islam and Hadithism is just made to distract you from the reality of the situation and to distract you from the true meaning of the Quran. The Quran is self-explanatory. It needs nothing else to understand it. When you truly study it, you'll see that. And this religion with this evil book of Hadith and the evil scholars for their cult mind control system do this solely 
solely for the reason for you to not understand this book of truth. It should be the truther's doctrine. I want to see everyone in the truth community who's talking about mudflood check out the Quran. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, like, it's all going to make so much sense. And the reason that we have this stigma, Quran, Islam, together, they built that programming in your mind so that you wouldn't pick up the Quran. So that normal people who are learning about flat earth, learning about mud flood, talking about archons, parasites, demons, they just ignore this one book that holds it all together beautifully. And these scholars... You know, in, in the, the gospel is actually referenced in the Quran. It talks about the evil three principalities of governments, religious scholars, and doctors. So you have these shape-shifting demons that run these three categories in a government system that Jesus the prophet warned us about. And you talk about the scholars, they're shape-shifting demons. And there's videos actually on um, Kinnigan's channel I've seen of a shake a couple shakes. I've seen myself of a C. Malakin. I actually glitch out with their hand signs. They go like this. And then their face like glitches. Like you see like a demon face. Because no pious human would want to enforce a system that would keep people from knowing about the truth that God wants you to know. That's just the opposite. They're playing a mind game. And all religions are this way. We're living in the cult of Ur, the culture, cults, Judaism, Christianity. It's all deflections from the truth that God wants you to use your own reasoning, your own mind, your own autodidacticness, self-learning. And this is the reason these things were created by the devil. And that's why the system of the archons is set up this way, just for you not to read the Quran. Just for you not to see things how they are. Because that, that means they'll lose fuel for the fire. These electromagnetic parasites want to like physically, vibrationally bring you down to a low vibration, but so down that you're in another realm in the next life, down burning for a circuit, bioelectric conductor under Sheol that's literally becoming an oil that burns a, 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 a semiconductor. And the more food they can get for the oil in the next life for the people that just said oh they repudiate the proofs they deny truth they see it's flat they go up there and they look down and say that earth is flat and they go it looks round <clears throat> say there's no proof of god you know that's that's the wrong way that's going to corrupt your thinking that's going to corrupt everything about you and you're going to end up as food for this entity under us physical or you can piss all the demons off and go to the seven layer heavens and prove Satan wrong. I would pick up the book, the Quran, immediately and I would read it. Definitely recommend Sam Garrett's translation. It's on YouTube, full audiobook. You could get the PDF on cornet.com. You could buy the hard copy if you want. It is groundbreaking, life changing. Stop associating religions with books, they have nothing to do with each other. Your religion is what you make for yourself, is the religion of truth, the path of seeing and reasoning philosophically. It's, it's obvious that these parasites are controlling us all around us. It started with my realization of these things, the archons, with reading scriptures, reading books, hearing about them, and thinking about them. At first, to start off with, hearing about demons were the cause of sickness. And the demons would cause sickness, black magic, and hearing about exorcisms in, in different books I was reading. But the more and more I look around me, it's so blatantly obvious that there's like possessions happening in different types all around us. I want to bring up the book of Solomon again. The 72 demons are each demon is ordained for a part of your body and your being and life. So let's say you have problems in your relationship. It's because of a certain demon. And in the Quran, it brings up the two kings. And the two kings, the two angels came and taught people magic on how to break up couples. And the people that took it and did it were damned. 
and all around us we could see in the TV and movies and music and drugs and the food and the weaponized everything that it's basically to break up the family. It's to break up the, the community, the love. And that when you break that up, is is it's not only horrible, but it's it's weakening man. It's weakening man so that we don't get to a higher point. And that, that proves that there is a demonic force breaking up us and is validated in these scriptures. And think about, again, the three evils. You got the pharmaceutical industry. Think about mental health calling kids crazy by the age of three. And the mom is so brainwashed, watching the news, slack-jawed, just a mind control zombie. And they tell her that, you know, your kid's crazy, they, they can't do good in school, put them on medication. They put them on the medication. The, the hospitals take away the kids and basically exile the family from the kids their whole life until the kid's an ostracized entity that is thought of as strange just because they were different. I mean, just because anything, it's the system it is a demonic system that the really the root is to is to divide each other, and not only that, it, it's it's to it's to possess people to be bad. Think about like the rap music culture or the music industry, Satanism programming of the government. It's making people shoot each other, kill each other, rape people adultery, fornication, prostitution, drugs, everything, Satanism, anti-God worship, everything. And it, it's a big proof that there's these organizations of, of demons and they're, they're electromagnetic. And that's, that's where I started to, to actually see them in meditations. I saw blockages and chi energy and, and I read an article once about goo, goo syndrome and ancient beliefs or older beliefs on how people are get ill and it's it's blockages in your chi energy and there there are these there's parasites within you and I and they're unseen but I think when they feed off your bioelectric magnetic plasma they can also manifest as physical parasites and I think a lot of time tapeworms start off as just a, as a gin that you take in something then you have to be food and it manifests physically feeding off your energy with that electricity it manifests into our case mites and in the uh, andrew cross experiments the misman andrew cross in the 1800s um galvanized silica with cave water and put it under an electro current and was able to manifest out of the ether archaeus mites, bugs that they classify as archaeus mites. And this kind of proved that there, there is these parasites all around us, living us in another realm on top of us, and that they can break through that barrier physically. And um, that's how we perceive them. And think about archaeus mites, they're classified archaeus mites, like archons. And the jinns, demons, shaitans, devas, fairies, spirits. Is they want you to be ignorant to them. They want you to know as little as you can, so that you make as much mistakes as you can, and then they can feed off your weak soul.